What's good, Snicker Gang? It's your boy, Goop. Changing my YouTube name due to a lot of different things, which I'm gonna come make a whole nother video about. But the new YouTube channel name is gonna be The Vintage. It's a, I'm like, like I said, I'm gonna come up with a whole little video about why I changed my name and why I had to change my name specifically. But with this video, y'all here because of that unboxing that I have yet unboxed or that I have yet showed the Snicker Gang. But today I have to, man. I've been waiting too long. They've been sitting right up here, man. And I just been holding off on the video. I have put the shoes on my feet yet and say i'm ready to take some dope shots with this one you know what i'm saying with the new camera and uh, i'm ready to do this video this review and it's gonna be titled is this jordan one the best jordan one of all time which i think hands down or a little debate bread ones i still don't have so that's why i'm gonna go with these right here man let's show the shoe Bow! there we go right here man look at that quality boy the wing ones man here they go today i'm gonna hit y'all with that review and on feet of the Jordan 1 wings, baby. Got them gook slaps in there. <laughs> Somebody in the comment section below talking about some gook slaps. But man, I'm sorry, I gotta change YouTube name. I have to, it's not like I want to, but I have to due to a lot of reasons. Like I said, I'm gonna get to the video. Probably next video, I'm gonna do a video over the whole thing. But today, like I said, here we have them, man. Look at them things. Say they ain't clean. Somebody in the comment section below in the last video said that they knew what they was. And y'all was right. I put a question mark and you was right, man. The Jordan 1 wings, here we have it. Let me shout out the other shoe real quick. Here we have it, man. Dope, dope, dope in my opinion. Look at that. Very clean. Cannot wait to do it on feet. I might throw the on feet in the beginning or the end. I don't know. I'm gonna switch it up, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't like to stay the same. I like to switch it up. I like working on my craft, you know what I'm saying? With my editing and my videos, you know what I'm saying? So y'all leave me in the comment section below. If y'all like to see them in the beginning or the end, y'all just like to switch it up. It don't really matter. Y'all let me know in the comment section below, please. But yeah, I had to get these. Y'all seen my rant or my uh video where I didn't win the shoes, a lot of reaction, and I was really mad, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I knew I was gonna have to get these shoes. I hate taking L's on shoes that I really want, and I end up having to pay resale. Like that shit really pissed me off. That the people that don't even really want the shoes, they just want to resell them to somebody, they be the ones winning the shoe. I'm like, come on now, come on. And I still got the glasses on, you know what I'm saying? These glasses, they're gonna go perfect for my new YouTube name, The Vintage. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling the new name. Let's get into this motherfucking review, man. Let's get into that box real quick, you know what I'm saying? Right here, all white Jordan box, as y'all can see. The Jordan on top, and we got that size nine and a half, man. Very clean, got the gold ring over here. Very dope, and uh, Nothing on the back, just the regular branding and stuff like that. But yeah, I thought this was a pretty dope box to go with a, uh, wait, wait, wait till I focus. This new camera, man, I'm trying to get used to it and everything like that. But you know what I'm saying, coming with a white box with the gold jump, man, I thought that was a pretty dope touch. You be spending, uh, they retail for 200, you know what I'm saying? That's like $40 over retail for the regular Jordan 1. But let's get inside the box. Here we have it. A white dust bag, here we have it, man. Very clean, very, very clean. With the gold tips right there. Very dope, man. My first time actually pulling this dust bag out of the, the box. That was very dope. I'm not gonna put my shoes in here. I'm just gonna keep this dust bag folded. It's my first dust bag out of all like the higher end Jordans I've been dropping lately. But let's put this back in the box. Regular uh, tissue paper on the inside of the box, as y'all can see, with the uh, 23 on the inside of the paper. But that's it for the box. Yeah, like I said, these shoes did retail for $200. And like I said, I went up a size nine and a half in this shoe. I had to. They don't fit very different, but I'd rather go to size eight and a half, size nine, true size. That's just me, that's how I do. Here we have it, Jordan 1 Wings. Let's get into this review real quick. Let's get it cracking. You got the Wings logo like you had on the Jordan 12 Wings, as y'all can see. If it focuses, I think it's focused, I don't know. <laughs> and my pair, I got the pair numbers. It was 19,400 made, and my pair is 4,243rd pair of the Jordan 1 Wings. Y'all let me know in the comment section below how many pairs actually released of the Jordan uh, 12 Wings. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head. I know it's around this ballpark around this number the laces I, I don't think i'm gonna rock with these laces like i said i'm gonna do a, um on feet and i'm gonna show both the lace styles and the uh different lace laces and i'm gonna throw in some b-roll of the pictures of the shoe that i took of myself um i didn't think that these were gonna come with the uh, uh black already rubbed off because you know on the jordan 12 wings they had the black you had to rub it off to see the wings exposed so i don't know i haven't seen nobody's shoe like rub and design or anything like that yet so i don't know how this paint is going to react to different things and there's going to be a print under this in black I, like i don't know y'all leave comment section below where i can go check it out because i really don't know right now it's my first time pulling these from up here in like a whole week now and i bought these last week and i did that one first i should have did this review first i did the review over the air more tempo supremes so y'all go check that video out if you haven't checked it out already leave a card right here i just dropped my fucking shoe 
Back to the shoe, man. On the back, you got that Jordan wings right there. Well, not the wings, with him holding the ball, whatever like that. I forgot what that's called. Just like it got on the uh, on the tongue. What else we got here? You got that wings logo right there, man. Very dope, very, very dope. And the thing I like most about this shoe is these, this bad boy right here. The wings on the bottom of the outsole. With the actual wings that you got on the Jordan 12s, like the design, you can see it right there. I thought that was very dope, man. Like, I'm be, I needed some soul protectors or something like that because I don't want to mess these up. I like these shoes a lot. And y'all seen my reaction to how I lost them and how mad I was. Black midsole right here, as y'all can see. I wish they would have did something a little different with this. I think they could have did something a little better, a little more spectacular than a regular black rubber midsole. But you can't complain with Jordan Brand. You get what you pay for. <laughs> Look at this. They ain't even produced these right, man. It's still got the, y'all can see that right there? The holes in this one. And there's no hole poked out on this one. It's supposed to be a hole right there. That's fucking crazy. But they got the wings on the inside of the, uh, I don't even know what you call these. The flappies? <laughs> Shit, I don't even know. But you got the wings right there. And on the inside, you got the wings design as well. With the Nike Air and the size tag right there. As y'all can see. Very dope, man. Very, very dope. Like I said, I did get paired 4,243. And it says everyone can fly. Let me show you the shoe and other laces real quick. Oh, on the laces it says everyone can fly. I don't know if y'all gonna sit there and read all that, but it says everyone can fly right there. I don't know if they're gonna focus on that. But that's what it says, man. Very dope. These are laces I'm gonna go with on my Jordan 1 wings, and that's what I recommend y'all to do. A little round view for y'all. Man, the things is clean. I can always get take some dope shots. Do a dope on feet with these, man. I can't wait, can't wait. But this is up for discussion, the best Jordan 1, in my opinion. Y'all let me know if they not in discussion. Y'all let me know if they up there with the wings, or with the breads, and with the, uh, what else is up there? The Royals, the Shattered Backboards. Y'all let me know, because the quality is better than a lot of Jordan 1s that I got recently. So, y'all let me know in the comment section below what y'all think about these right here. I'm glad I can bring y'all that review. And then I can't wait to show y'all that on feet of these bad boys right here. So, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all like, make sure y'all comment, make sure y'all subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, let's get to that 10K. I got a big giveaway coming up for 10k subscribers. Make a video on that. Gonna be videos coming out the yin yang for y'all boys. So y'all subscribe, y'all like, y'all comment, and y'all gonna follow me on all my social media. I really appreciate it. Let's get on that 10k grind, baby. Let's get it, man. Let's get that 10k real fast, bro. Without further ado, man, let's get into that on feet. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one.